What is the net worth of an 18-season playing basketball player? Dikembe Mutombo is one of the NBA's greatest shot blockers and defensive players. This is a complete look at his life, career, and untimely demise. This is a tragedy. We dug into the pages of Celebrity Net Worth, Realtor, and CBS News to come up with a thorough review of his shortened life. Let us together reminisce on the life of Mount Mutombo, a six-time NBA All-Defensive Team member, and stay with us till the end to find out what caused his early death. What was the net worth of this Basketball Hall of Famer? This beloved professional basketball player had a net worth of $75 million at the time of his death. During his 18 seasons in the NBA, he earned a little over $143 million in salary before taxes. His biggest basketball contracts were a five-year, $56 million deal with the Atlanta Hawks in 1996 and a four-year, $65 million deal with the Philadelphia 76ers in 2001. He earned $16,250,000 with the 76ers during the 2001-2002 season, recording the highest paid season of his career. He also earned tens of millions from endorsements. He was an Adidas signature athlete during his career, signing with the brand in 1992 during his rookie season. In addition to his own shoe line, the contract included the creation of a Mutombo-inspired athletic clothing line. His original $1 million sneaker deal with the brand was comparable to Michael Jordan's Nike deal at the time. He continued to appear in national commercials decades into his retirement in 2009. One commercial is his now iconic 2013 ad for the auto insurance company Geico, where he callously blocked people who were busy doing things like tossing their laundry into the bin, shooting their garbage into the trash can, throwing their groceries into the shopping cart, and so on. In 2017, he paired with NASCAR driver Kevin Harvick in a national ad campaign for the Mobile One annual protection brand. His bit in the commercial was saying, the words, don't change your oil. Their pairing resulted in their being dubbed as the tremendously odd couple, in reference to the pairing of Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon in the movie, The Odd Couple. In 2019, he was appointed as the chief blocking officer of the ad verification company, Check, for their digital advertising campaign. Dikembe was not only a talent for the ad campaign, but was also a company spokesman. His earnings from these brand endorsements contributed to his overall net worth. He also made money as an actor, mostly playing himself. He made cameo appearances in the 2002 films, Juana Man and Like Mike. His voice and likeness were used in a 16-bit style flash game, humorously entitled Dikembe Mutombo's Four and a Half Weeks to Save the World, released by Old Spice. He appeared in the 2018 sports comedy Uncle Drew and the 2021 romantic comedy Coming to America. He also worked as a voice talent for the Family Guy TV series, voicing himself in a 2018 episode entitled Dog Bites Bear. Dikembe accumulated significant wealth throughout his 18-season basketball career, primarily from his salary as a basketballer. He augmented this income not only through brand endorsement deals, but through some acting gigs on the side. What investments did he get himself into? His primary investments were in the real estate business. After he was drafted by the Denver Nuggets as the fourth overall pick in 1991, he picked up a cutesy condo in 1993. The 2,100 square foot space provided him with four bedrooms and three and a half baths. An open floor plan, a kitchen with a breakfast nook and a primary suite were some of the features of the condo. The year Dikembe joined the Philadelphia 76ers, 2001, he picked up a swanky 10,900 square foot property in Pennsylvania for $2.8 million. Its location was about 20 miles from the Wells Fargo Center, where the 76ers played their home games. The property featured six bedrooms and 10 bathrooms. He unloaded the property in 2012 for $1.5 million, incurring a big loss given the effects of inflation. 
he paid $6,060,000 for 13,290 square foot mansion in Sandy Springs, Georgia in 2002. The sprawling two acre plus estate boasts of 10 bedrooms and 13 baths. Amenities include a game room, a wine room, a movie theater, a beauty salon, a sauna, and a gym. The estate also features a guest house, an elevator, and an outdoor space housing a patio area with a pool, an outdoor kitchen, a playground, and, as can be expected, a basketball court. Dikembe placed the mansion on the market, initially for $6.8 million, but the price has since been dropped to just under $6 million. In 2003, he purchased another 5,671 square foot mansion in nearby Marietta, Georgia, for $1.1 million. The mansion's living quarters include six bedrooms, six bathrooms, a two-story foyer, an oversized living room, a movie room, and a gym. A heated pool is featured in the backyard. He sold the mansion in 2011 for about the same amount. 2004 saw this real estate wheeler dealer buying a two-acre estate in Potomac, Maryland for $1.5 million. The five-bedroom, six-and-a-half bathroom brick colonial house features an upgraded kitchen, a living room, a library, and a sunroom. The lower level houses a home theater, while the backyard contains a pool. It was another loss for Dikembe when he sold it for $1.4 million in 2011. During his stint with the Houston Rockets in 2007, he bought himself a three-bedroom, three-and-a-half bathroom, 2,292 square foot Houston property for an undisclosed amount. Featuring downtown views and located just blocks away from shopping malls and restaurants, the detached Mediterranean home was sold in 2012 at a list price of $450,000. In 2013, Dikembe paid $4.95 million for a New York apartment in a swanky high-rise located in the Trump Place building. The three-bedroom Upper West Side unit offered skyline views from its oversized windows. Again, he suffered another loss in its sale for $3.2 million in August 2023. Dikembe made several significant real estate investments during his lifetime. These investments reflect his approach to financial management as a diversification tool for his portfolio, extending it beyond his basketball income. What caused his untimely death? On October 15, 2022, he announced that he was to undergo treatment in Atlanta for a brain tumor. Brain cancer is considered uncommon, given that the lifetime risk of malignant brain tumor is less than 1%. Of the 25,400 diagnosed brain and spinal cord cancers in America annually, about 18,760 die from the cancer. On September 30th, 2024, at the age of 58, he died surrounded by his family. Adam Silver, the NBA commissioner, paid tribute to Dikembe, saying he was simply larger than life. On the court, he was one of the greatest shot blockers and defensive players in NBA history, while off the court, he poured his heart and soul to helping others. Because he was a humanitarian at the core, he was truly qualified to be the NBA's first global ambassador. Current NBA players similarly talked about Dikembe as a person outside the court. Philadelphia 76ers star Joel Embiid said Dikembe is his role model who has done a lot of great things for a lot of people. What he has done off court is even better than what he has accomplished on court. That is saying a lot about Dikembe's impact not only in his native Democratic Republic of Congo, but across the African continent as well. Former President Barack Obama stated that Dikembe was an inspiration to a generation of young people across Africa, and his work as NBA's global ambassador changed the way athletes think about their impact off the court. Dikembe's legacy extends beyond his illustrious NBA career. After retirement, he devoted himself to philanthropy, particularly in his native country, the Democratic Republic of Congo. The basketball community, as well as public figures, expressed their deep condolences following his death. 
Dikembe has enjoyed an outstanding basketball career in the short span of his life. Meanwhile, you can continue your enjoyment of the lifestyle of the rich and famous by simply proceeding to the next video we have prepared for you.